Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. It appears a missing seven-year-old girl was murdered during a crime of opportunity. Athena Strand disappeared early Wednesday evening. The sheriff says her body was found today after evidence pointed to a delivery driver in the area Wednesday who the sheriff says kidnapped and killed her and confessed. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins has the breaking details out of Wise County. Macy. Hi, Heather. Well, we got that news just after 10 o'clock tonight during a press conference with Sheriff Lane Aiken here in Wise County. He says that the body of seven-year-old Athena Strand was found earlier this afternoon. Now, the information about that suspect is that he is a 31-year-old FedEx driver named Tanner Lynn Horner. He confessed to abducting and killing the girl. Sheriff Aiken says earlier that, that, bod that her body was recovered about three hours ago. Take a listen to the press conference. And continued good work by these, this investigative team, they were able to determine that the driver abducted Athena. And from the investigative standpoint, digitally as well as, as good old interviews, uh, we think Athena died within just a very hour or so, the very hour or so after her departure from her home. Now, just before 5 o'clock this evening, we came across a section of County Road 4599, just south of Highway 114. Now, this is about seven miles away from the Strand home. We saw several law enforcement agencies, including Wise County Sheriff's Office and Texas DPS. They were combing through a heavy brush, heavily brushed and wooded area, even looking into the ditches on the side of the road. Sheriff Aiken says information from interviews initially led them to that area, but it turns out that information was incorrect as her body was recovered elsewhere. Now, acting FBI agent in charge, Jim Dwyer, says it was digital evidence that led them to that FedEx driver, but he would not give details, specific details, about that evidence. And officials would not comment on whether or not Athena was sexually assaulted, only saying that may come out later in the investigation. Sheriff Aiken says at this time, in his time it, with both Wise County and the Texas Rangers, Athena's case has personally been one of the most challenging he has ever faced. You know, it's, it's one of the toughest investigations that I've been involved in um, because it's a child. And any time there's a child that dies, it just hits you in your heart. Now, earlier tonight in Lake Worth, Fort Worth police had set up roadblocks on Somerville Place Road. Aiken says this is where the suspect lives. They would not elaborate on whether or not any evidence was found at the home, but they did say that he lived there. Now, just to recap, we've been covering this story for a few days. The search for seven-year-old Athena started on Wednesday. Authorities say she got into an argument with her stepmother Wednesday afternoon, sometime after getting off of the school bus at 4.15, when the stepmom went to check on Athena around 5.00. 515, she says the child was gone, and after searching for more than an hour, she called 911. The sheriff says Athena's father was on it, was driving to a hunting trip out of town. Her biological mother lives in Oklahoma and drove down later on when she found out what had happened. Authorities say Athena's family is understandably devastated after learning what happened to the girl a little over 48 hours ago. Again, that suspect name is Tanner Lynn Horner. He's a 31-year-old from Lake Worth, a FedEx driver. He is charged with capital murder and aggravated kidnapping. He is now behind bars in the Wise County Jail, and his bond has been set at $1.5 million. Uh, Heather, a very sad end to two days of searching for seven-year-old Athena Strand and a devastated family. Um, but this is wrapped up here. I will send it back to you. Sad news we're reporting today. Little seven-year-old Athena Strand was found dead officially. The police have released that information. In this case, there was a FedEx driver just driving around their neighborhood. I'm guessing he's seen her, uh, abducted her, kidnapped her, uh, sexually assaulted her, and then killed her. He has later been um, confessed to this crime. That individual's name is Tanner Horner. Mr. Horner was a very disturbed individual to do such a crime and around the holiday season.